Behold, God is our salvation, in whom we will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is our strength and our song, and has become our salvation. Good day, beloved of Christ. Welcome to prayer on Monday, the 2nd of September. Let's take a deep breath, center ourselves as we offer ourselves to God in worship today. O Lord, open our lips together and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal Word and Holy Spirit, together, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 25, appointed for today, a beautiful prayer, an intimate prayer of faith. We're going to read verses 1 through 15 and verse 22. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation, and you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Gracious and upright are you, O Lord, Therefore you teach sinners in your way. You guide the humble in doing right and teach your way to the lowly. O Lord, all your paths are love and faithfulness to those who keep your covenant and your testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who are they who fear you, O Lord? You will teach them the way that they should choose. They shall dwell in prosperity, and their offspring shall inherit the earth. You are a friend to those who fear you, and will show them your covenant. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all their troubles. Let us pray. God of compassion and love, forgive our sins, relieve our misery, Satisfy our longing and fulfill all our hopes for peace through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, together as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Today we carry on in our reading of the book of Acts. This being a Monday, we have a bit of reading to make up from the weekend. So we've got all of chapter 11 for us today. Remember from Friday that Peter had baptized the household of Cornelius, the centurion, a Gentile, and all of his household. The Holy Spirit had fallen upon them, gift from God. Now in this chapter, Peter is called to explain his actions. How could he baptize Gentiles? Chapter 11, the apostles and the brothers throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him and said, you went into the house of uncircumcised men and ate with them. Peter began and explained everything to them precisely as it happened. I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. I saw something like a large sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners, and it came down to where I was. I looked into it and saw four-footed animals from the earth, wild beasts, reptiles, birds of the air. Then I heard a voice telling me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. 
I replied, Surely not, Lord. Nothing impure or unclean has ever entered my mouth. The voice spoke from heaven a second time. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. This happened three times. And then it was all pulled up to heaven again. Right then, three men who had been sent to me from Caesarea stopped at the house where I was staying. The Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going with them. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen an angel appear in his house and say, Send to Joppa for Simon, who is called Peter. He will bring you a message through which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit came on them as he had come upon us at the beginning. Then I remembered what the Lord had said. John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So if God gave them the same gift as he gave us, who believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to think that I could oppose God? When they had heard this, they had no further objections and praised God, saying, So then, God has granted even the Gentiles repentance unto life. Now, those who had been scattered by the persecution in connection with Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, telling the message only to Jews. Some of them, however, men from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch and began to speak to Greeks also, telling them the good news about the Lord Jesus. The Lord's hand was with them, and a great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. News of this reached the ears of the church at Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the evidence of the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So for a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great numbers of people. The disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. During this time, some prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and through the Spirit predicted that a severe famine would spread over the entire Roman world. This happened during the reign of Claudius. The disciples, each according to his ability, decided to provide help for the brothers living in Judea. This they did, sending their gift to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are familiar with these stories and we take for granted of God's compassion to the Gentiles, which would be you and me, all of our listeners. None of us are from Jewish heritage. As far as I know, I I may be wrong. But to them, God's kingdom was extended to the covenant people. They really didn't see in their mind's eye the possibility of God's grace extending to the unclean Gentiles. And yet, From Peter's testimony, the power of this visionary experience, which is setting aside kosher law and the gift of the Holy Spirit to Cornelius and his household. All of this showed to the first believers the beginning of the breadth of God's love for all people. And since that time, the good news of the love of God expressed in the life ministry the death and resurrection and ongoing prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ has been offered to people around the world from age to age. May the Lord bless the ministry of the church as we continue to witness to the life-changing love of God in Christ. Amen. Our responsory today, trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge the Lord, who will make straight your paths. Together, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise 
in your own sight. Happy are those who find wisdom and those who get understanding. Together, trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. The Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. As we pray for the concerns of the world, our prompt is God, our strength, and our response, hear our prayer. Let us pray. God of our salvation, guard and direct your church in the way of unity service, and praise. Lord, we ask your grace as we seek to fulfill ministry positions in our church for Christian education minister and a new parish administrator. God, our strength, together, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. And Lord, we pray for an end to the war. In these six countries, which have experienced at least 10,000 war-related deaths in the last year. We pray for peace in Myanmar, for the Arab-Israeli conflict, for the insurgency and Maghreb, for the Mexican drug war, for the Russian-Ukrainian war, and for the Sudanese civil war. God, our strength, Together, hear our prayer. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise so that all may share the good things you provide. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, we pray for Brian, for Michael, Tom, Keith, Joe, Gabe, Karen, Anthony, Jennifer, for those who struggle with memory issues, for George, Myron, for those recovering from surgery, for Ray, for Marie, You may pause the recording to pray for those on your hearts. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying. For Betty, and for your comfort to those who watch, wait, and pray, and for those who mourn. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you to the praise of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now, my friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious towards you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you and yours peace this day and forevermore. Amen, amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen, amen. Have a blessed day today, Monday. Now, friends, I want to let you know a little announcement that Reverend Lorraine and Father Ajit will be joining our Daily Messages team. And uh, now in the month of September, Reverend Lorraine will have her debut 
tomorrow, Tuesday, and continue offering Tuesday's prayers and Father Ajit on Thursdays. We welcome them to the team. We're grateful for their life and ministry. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.